Hey gang, Bronco Carl 92 here. So it's Saturday, September 7th, and uh, it's early in the morning. So I uh, came out to the garage, and uh, today I'm going to do a, uh, a little tool tip. Okay, so um, I don't know if you've ever used a, um, a universal joint or a flexible uh, type socket, um, but what happens is is the uh, the joints here uh, tend to get a little loose and floppy. And uh, when you have a bolt in the end of this and you have it on the end of a long extension, and say you're trying to put a bolt into the uh, top of a bell housing uh, with a really long extension, um, it gets to be uh, this thing flops around, the bolt falls out, and stuff like that. So. Um, and you can actually see that there's, you know, there's already there's play in the socket here, but of course it's not uh, bad enough for a warranty matter. So I'm going to show you what to do to uh, to tighten this joint up. Okay, so anyhow, uh, some ways of uh, tightening this joint up. Um, I've seen people take O-rings and put uh, an O-ring like in the joint here that'll tighten it up a little bit, um, but you end up pinching them and the O-ring breaks. Uh, I've seen people put electrical tape around it, masking tape. Um, that works okay until oil hits it and then it gets all gluey and nasty. So I got a little uh, a trick that I do um, with some heat shrink tubing. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, so anyway, it's pretty simple. You basically just get a piece of heat shrink tubing that fits over your, over your socket like that. And I usually leave it long and then uh, trim it off with a razor blade. Um, you can also cut it to length and put it on there. So... Anyway, just put it on there. Um, take a heat gun, or if you don't have a heat gun, you can use a, a lighter or a torch. Just shrink it all the way around. Take a razor. I usually try to go about halfway. Some people don't like covering up the markings on the socket, but I think it's pretty easy to figure out what size you got. There you go. Nice and tight now. It'll tend to spring back to center and uh, that is pretty resilient it uh, it'll stay tight for for a while and if the heat shrink gets uh, guard up or whatever you can just cut it off and put another piece on there so anyhow that was my uh, Saturday morning tool tip uh, I'm gonna see if maybe I can uh, maybe do this a, a couple Saturdays some tool tips some ideas that I have and uh, Hope you guys like them. So, as always, thanks for watching Bronco Carl 92, and uh, we'll catch you guys soon. Take care.